Okay, guys, today we'd like to teach you the most basic elements of the ballroom dancing. The, those are three very, very simple basic elements of any dance. By knowing, knowing those three elements, you can do almost anything. You can dance at the weddings, in the party, or on the cruise ship. So what are those basic elements? So number one, we're going to learn box step right here, box step. Number two is a triple step. So the triple step. And number three is a rock step. So by knowing all these three elements, we can do a lot of fun dances. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with the box step. It's a very, very simple step. Take your partner by yourself, it doesn't matter. So we always, guys, gonna start with the left leg for simplicity. Because remember, it's a social, social lesson right now. So find your left leg, shake it a little bit. We're going forward with the left. Right leg going to side and left leg closing together. And remember here, we're gonna shift body weight. We're gonna change our body weight. Now here, we're gonna going with our right leg. We're going back with our left leg. We're going side together. And remember, when we're going together, we're gonna shift our body weight. So let's repeat. Left leg forward, right leg side, left leg together, changing weight, right leg back, left leg side, right leg together. So let's do it. Walk, walk together, walk, walk together. So we have front side together, back side together. Forward with the left, side to the right, left leg together, change weight. Right leg back, left leg side, right leg together, change weight. So this is very simple box step, step number one. So back step. And remember, in the back step, it's a total six steps. Step number one, step number two, step number three, step number four, five, six. So total six steps. So the most important for you guys, the common mistake, when we come together dancing back step, forward, side, together. So on this together, is very important to change body weight. Got it? So we release the other leg to step backward. In the same here, when we close our legs, it's very important to change your body weight. Forward, side, together means body weight change. Back, side, together. So this is a back step. So imagine guys, right now, we just learned two dances. With the back step, we learn waltz and we learn American rumba. So two dances just by knowing this step. Okay, guys, so by doing back step, we're already doing two dances, waltz and the rumba. But there is a small difference between them. First of all, is the tempo. And second is how we do it. And remember, in a good dancing, is not what you do, it's how you do it. So let's jump into waltz right away. So how to do waltz? It's a beautiful wide position, like you play violin for the men. Men's right arm going to the lady's shoulder blade here, not here, here, shoulder blade. And uh, lady's arm on top of the men's frame and here we have a beautiful waltz position of course now we'll demonstrate the social way of doing it so we're going forward side together back side together and that's already will look much more like waltz of course if we we add the correct action of the waltz remember dancing is how you do now what you do we add a little bit of rise and fall it's going to be more character for the waltz music and one two three or one two three so with this feel we are already looking like a waltz. Now, if we want to change to the rumba, our frame is going to be slightly smaller. We're going to allow our knees to bend slightly. We allow a little bit hip action, and we're going to count differently. We're going to go slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. But notice we dance exactly the same step all the way, box step. Okay, guys, now time for our second element, which was a triple step let's do it so we're going to be backward to you so it's for easier to follow so triple step is basically three small steps so we start for simplicity's sake with the left leg as always so we're going to the left three pull step three pull step so step one step two step three step one two three three pull step and notice at the end of your step you're gonna change body weight 
you're gonna change by the way that's very very important three pull step with the weight change three pull step three pull step three pull step okay and the triple step which we just learned by itself triple step it's already a dance which called polka so let's try it together so it's the most simple uh fun dance okay triple step by itself is already a dance so what's the name of this dance is polka you can dance it anyway it's very popular very easy social dance so we're going three pulse step 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 three pulse step, step so this is polka just by knowing triple step you already can do polka so we by knowing box, we can do waltz and rumba. Knowing triple step, we can do polka. So already three dances, social dances. The most simple way to start dancing. Okay, guys, so the next element, the last element, element number three is a rock step. So let's do reverse angle. For simplicity's sake, as always, let's start with the left leg. So our left leg will go back. And now we release the weight from the front leg. And now we replace weight to the front leg, releasing back. So basically, we're rocking from back to front, back to front. This is a rock step, rock step, rock step, rock step, rock step. From side to side, so you can see a little bit more clarity of the action. So we're going back, rock step. So we're rocking. What it means rocking? I put my weight on the back foot releasing weight from the front and immediately put the weight on the front releasing from the back rock step rock step so three elements total box triple step and the rock step interesting detail about rock step it can go almost any direction so we show you the backward rock when you rock from back to front but we also can rock from left to right or from right to left or we can rock from the front to back so it's all rock in action. So let's take a look from reverse angle. So rock step, traditional rock step, back to front. Or we can rock side to side, rock in action. Or we can ride rocking from front to back. So let's resume a little bit. Number one element, box step, going forward side together, backward side together, triple step three pull step three pull step rock step rock step rock step this is the most important elements we can do many many dances just using only three elements so now guys knowing these three elements we can do almost any dance so what will happen if i take one rock step and two triple steps let's take a look so we're going rock step three pull step triple step so now by combining it our triple step two times with the one rock step we have a swing or jive basic jive rock step triple step triple step rock step triple step triple step so what happened if i will combine rock step for example with a the two rock step with the one triple step maybe dancing cha cha so you're going rock step three pull side a rock step three pull side so this is cha cha so basically if i combine two rock steps because remember we can do rock steps forward and backwards so this is a rock step forward three pull step rock step backward three pull step rock step three pull step rock step so if i combine rock step with the two triple step it's going to be swing or jive rock step triple step triple step rock step triple step triple step so what's gonna happen if i combine just a rock step rock step forward rock step back then we're dancing salsa mambo rock and step rock step back rock step front rock step back rock step front so let's do salsa mambo rock step back rock step front rock step back rocks so just practicing those three elements our box step triple step and rock step we got already how many dances uh, box step this is a waltz 
but it also could be a rumba. So it's already too dense. Triple steps. We had a polka if you're just doing triple steps. So it's already uh, three dances. Or we can do rock step with the two triple steps. So this is a swing or jive. Or we can do rock step, one triple step with another rock step forward is a cha-cha. If you combine two rock steps together, rock step forward, rock step back, it's salsa or mambo. Okay, guys, so after knowing those three major elements, it's extremely important to start practicing walking together with your partner. We can walk forward or we can walk backwards. So if we stay in close position, that will be quite a challenge. So the lady is now going to go backward with the right foot. Guys, forward with the left. Forward, forward, forward. And notice how as I'm moving my left leg forward, Christina gives me space with her right leg moving back. And the same if I will go backward. I go with my left leg back and just by holding my position, I create a space for Christina to come in. So this is extremely important to start practicing walking like this. So later on, your back step could be much easier. And then also we can learn a lot of dances this way. So for example, if you would like to learn a foxtrot, it will be extremely, extremely simple. We basically going backward two steps, walk, walk, and then we're moving, moving side together. So that's already a foxtrot. Slow, slow, quick, quick. So very simple. So by knowing all these elements, we can do many, many dances. So in the next video, I'll show you even more dances. After sign up, please go to dancewitholeg.com. Click video courses. Here you have new videos, full course, all the videos here. Technique, foundation, dance workouts, mindset, cha-cha steps, American style, arm standing, jive, samba, ladies corner, choreography, footwork drills, anything you want. Let's say if you want full course, you click here. It just takes you here. You can watch all the three, four detailed information.